Greetings. My name is Charles, and I'm coming to you from the wonderful first state of Delaware. Um, in a 2000 election, I was a registered Democrat, and it was my first time I could vote. And I voted for Al Gore, and I was extremely disappointed that he lost due to the Florida debacle. Then 9-11 happened, and I started listening to conservative talk radio like Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, um, Michael Savage, reading Ann Coulter books, Laura Ingram watching Fox News 24-7. And I bought into the Republican platform and more so the conservative Republican platform. So I changed my registration from Democrat to Republican. And from Bush's second term on, I voted straight Republican uh, on every ticket, on every ballot, voted against Obama twice. And then we come to the 2016 campaign and the primaries. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way that Donald Trump can win this, these primaries. He was out there saying such awful, terrible, vile things about the other candidates that it was shocking. But somehow he won the primary and then he was embraced by the Republican Party, this misogynistic, racist lying con man who doesn't represent anything that the Republican Party stands for other than wealth has become the Republican Party candidate. And at that time, I knew the Republican Party was no longer for me. It's no longer the party of Abraham Lincoln. It's no longer the party of law and order. It's no longer the party of uh, family values. It's no longer the party of Lincoln because Trump is a racist. It's no longer the party of family values because Trump sleeps with porn stars and then pays them off while his wife is at home with a newborn baby. It's no longer the party of law and order because Trump likes to breaks the law whenever he wants. He lies and cheats whenever he wants. And no Republicans hold him accountable. So I left the Republican Party. I also didn't vote for Hillary. I did one of those rebellious write-in ballots. Hillary won Delaware significantly, and Biden will win Delaware significantly. However, I am not going to make that ridiculous mistake again. I will proudly vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Joe Biden has represented the state of Delaware for a very long time, and I'm very familiar with Joe Biden. And Kamala was one of my favorite primary runners. So this is a great ticket. I feel that Kamala and Biden can do what is needed to do to bring us out of this pandemic that Trump has failed so miserably on and 170,000 Americans are dead because of it. I feel that they will be able to bring a court, bring, um, bring the wage gap inequality together. Um, racial injustices. Um, we need to unite this country again because all Donald Trump has done is divide this country through hatred and attacks and name calling and basically the, the attitude and the temperament of a petulant child. This man is a threat to our democracy and must be removed. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will set this country back on the right course.